I think we have so much to be grateful for right here in this state, you know, all the time. And you start off with just the landscape around us, the glory of just how beautiful this area is. And we're surrounded by the mountains here. Uh, you know, going right through the Piedmont, there's beautiful landscape all the way down to the coast. And to see that and just to kind of stop and recognize that all of this is going on around us, it's an important thing to see. It's such a sad state that we're in right now that that great celebration of the fact that God became man, that's what we're celebrating at Christmas. You know, Christ became one of us, loves us enough to be stuff like we're stuff, to walk the earth like us, to be right here with us. And yet at that time of year, it can be the most stressful time for so many people because, you know, we're taking our focus off of what's most important. And I think to stop and just reflect on all of this goodness and all of this beauty is so important. And I think to take a little bit of time to do that every single day, say at least 10 minutes, um, one of my favorite quotes is from St. Francis de Sales, who said, we should all pray a half hour every day, but when you're really busy, you should pray for an hour, which it sounds like it's convoluted, but it's not because of the fact that you know, it's when we're most stressed out, when we are most busy, that we need prayer so much more, but usually we all kind of cut ourselves off from the greatest source of support we have when things are going bad. I think as we sort of look at all that we've been given and keep things in perspective and, like I said, have grateful hearts, things have a way of working out. Thanks.